riding into town to go get some tacos. score I found on the road basil not letting that go to waste I might have gotten myself in trouble on the last video where I said Margarita made the best salsa in town. She's got stiff competition. Today I'm going to show you Manny's salsa. Ironically, Manny and I make the exact same salsa with just two minor exceptions. I toast my chilies in a hot frying pan and it gives them that really smoky flavor and Manny does not. And because Manny has a restaurant and is making tons of this stuff every day, he leaves the seats in and I remove mine. So those are your options, to toast or not to toast. Seeds, no seeds. Let's get started. This recipe, you're gonna need dried chilies and not just any dried chili, but chili de arbol, tree chilies. They're these really small, fiery hot, delicious, chilies. You can find them at almost any Mexican grocer. In the last salsa I did, many of you noted that it didn't have cilantro, it didn't have lime, it didn't have tomatoes. Those ingredients are used widely in salsas around this area. But the interesting thing about salsa is that there are as many salsa recipes as there are salsa cooks. The salsas that I'm showing you from Baja utilize a common ingredient that isn't often found in salsa, olive oil. And the reason being is there is an olive region just north of us. So this salsa is simply dried chilies, garlic, salt, and olive oil. For starters, heat your frying pan over medium heat until it's nice and hot. You want to press down on your chilies and stir them frequently or they will start to scorch. As you'll do this, you'll see little brown wisps of smoke coming up and your chilies will have darkened just a notch and start to smell really fragrant. That's when they are done. This only takes a minute or two. You don't want to burn them. Remove them from the heat and let them cool. You'll see that the chilies are noticeably darker and they have a few little chilies with some dark spots on them and they get really shiny. That's the natural chili oil coming out. That's what you want. Now here's the really important part. Gloves. When you handle hot chilies, you really do need to protect your skin. The chili oil will get in and around your cuticles and it will burn for hours and hours and hours. And if you're a contact lens wearer, yeah. You don't want that. Take off the stem end, break them in half, and dump out the seeds. When you have all of your chilies seeded and stemmed, put them in a bowl. You can kind of shake them back and forth a little bit, and that helps any remaining seeds fall to the bottom. See what I mean about the seeds in the bottom? 
A good three finger pinch of salt. You want this salsa salty. Add in your two cloves of garlic and enough olive oil to come about a third of the way up the chilies, maybe a little less. When your salsa has turned a nice dark red, it's done. Yum. In my house, we call this magic sauce. Here, it's called salsa roja. Now, this is one of the salsas that was served at the wedding. And I heard Manny warning people, on a scale of one to a hundred, this salsa is a hundred. That means it's hot, but it's so delicious. Now, because I love this salsa so much, I was gifted a really big jar of it after the wedding. So this is mayonnaise sauce, and this is what it looks like once it sits for an hour or two. It gets really nice and deep red. And here is my sauce. I hope you enjoy this salsa. Thank you for being here, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. I've put together a couple of videos for you that you might enjoy. Since we're talking salsa, let's do a salsa trifecta. Manny's green sauce, salsa verde. Another salsa verde, equally delicious, but quite different, is Margarita's charred serrano in habanero salsa verde. And what salsa without guacamole? My African guacamole. We all know that burritos are just a carrier for salsa, but you'll need something to eat that salsa with. So here's my video for campfire burritos. Happy cooking, and I'll see you on the next video.